So you want a cheap good game and you have come to the right place. I will be recommending you guys my top 10 picks of good fucking games that is dirt cheap. The price that will be shown in the video will be the cheapest price that game has ever been. So without further ado, let's get to it. Ori and the Will of Wisps. It is a platformer game developed by Moon Studios, released in 2020. It is a sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. The game follows Ori, a spirit creature, on a journey through a beautifully crafted world filled with platforming challenges, puzzles, and combat. Players acquire new abilities to access hidden areas and tackle various enemies and bosses. This game is known for its stunning art style and emotional storytelling. The game received praise for its intricate level design, captivating music, and engaging gameplay. It is considered a standout in the platforming genre. So this game without a doubt is one of the best game that I have ever purchased. And you can get this game as cheap as 6 bucks, while prices may vary depending on your region. But again, for 6 bucks and playing this amazing game, come on man, why not? Across worlds with a unique new starship. Up next, we have No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a space exploration and survival game by Hello Games, launched in 2016. Now I know when it launched, it doesn't have the best uh, product, the best game. But as of right now, for all the updates and all the free DLCs that we are getting, and they are exceeding their promises. Man, players can mine resources, build bases, customize starships, and engage in space combat. Again, despite the early criticism, the game has seen significant updates, adding multiplayer and other features, transforming it into a well-regarded space exploration experience. Allows players to bring provisions with them and return with rewards. Our journey continues. Monster Hunter World Well, the original game is about $10, but if you want to get the Iceborne, I mean the complete package like the Monster Hunter World Iceborne, it's gonna be more or less $20. So, it is an action RPG developed by Capcom, released in 2018. As a hunter, you track and battle large monsters in an open world environment using a variety of weapons and gear. Well, it's not open world, it's like semi-open world. The game emphasizes preparation and strategy, with players gathering resources to craft weapons, armor, and other items. The combat system is quite skill-based, requiring players to learn monsters' behaviors and adapt to their tactics. And Monster Hunter World includes cooperative multiplayer, allowing players to team up for challenging hunts. Its open-world design improved graphics and engaging multiplayer, contributed to its widespread popularity and critical acclaim. It provides a rich and immersive hunting experience appealing to both new and experienced players. This game also has insane amount of replayability. You can make another character to you know mix and match what you want to build, what you want to have. Um, there's a lot of varieties uh, in this game. So give it a go. This game will accompany you for hundreds, hundreds of hours. City Skylines. Well, it is my first sim game. Well, yeah, not The Sims. Fuck The Sims. City Skyline is a city building simulation game where players design, build, and manage their own city. Developed by Colossal Order and published by Paradox Interactive. And it was released back in 2015. Until this day, it is still a good fucking game. Yeah, not City Skyline 2. Fuck City Skyline 2, man. So players control everything from roads and zoning to public services like healthcare, education, and emergency response. 
The game offers flexibility allowing for a variety of city designs and solutions to challenges like traffic and pollution. It also has a strong modding community enabling players to create and share custom content which adds to the game's replayability. City Skylines is praised for its depth and versatility, appealing to both casual and hardcore simulation fans. It's often considered a spiritual successor to classic city building games like SimCity. But I don't know man, this is my first sim game and I love it, so yeah, it is very much recommended. release of a radical update to the game leveraging the full Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition well it is just an upgrade version of Metro Exodus a first person shooter with survival and horror elements released in 2021 it's designed for next gen consoles like PS5 Xbox Series X and super high end PCs with a focus on advanced visuals especially those ray tracing goodness the Enhanced Edition delivers significant visual improvements with better lighting, shadows, and reflections. It needs a graphics card that supports ray tracing, so it's quite demanding in terms of hardware. The game is basically the same as the original one, but then again, if you like first-person shooter with survival and horror elements, I think this is the game for you. In the day-night cycle, adding depth and authenticity beyond the use of traditional lighting systems. Interiors on the surface world feature real mend this broken land. Does an Elysian tale. This is this is really really old guys. This game is released 15 years ago. So it is an action role playing game developed by Dean Dodrill, originally released in 2012 guys, in 2012 for Xbox 360 with later versions for other platforms. It follows Daz, a warrior with amnesia, as he explores a hand-drawn world with his companions, a talking sword named Ara, and a creature named Fidget. The game combines fast-paced combat, platforming, and RPG elements like leveling and crafting. Praised for its stunning art, engaging gameplay, and story, Daz an Elysian Tale explores theme of identity and redemption as players unravel Daz's mysterious past while battling enemies in a beautifully animated environment let's not keep them waiting there went with a maiden from stone she didn't south park stick of truth it is a role playing game developed by obsidian entertainment and released in 2014 well it is also published by ubisoft it is based on the South Park TV series and follows the new kid who joins the town's epic fantasy style game. The game features turn-based combat, character customization, and exploration of South Park with all the show's trademark humor and art style. Yeah, the dark joke is there in this game and it is amazing. The plot centers on a battle between different factions of kids with quests that parody fantasy troops and corporate references to South Park series. Known for its mature themes and very very straightforward comedy and dark jokes, The Stick of Truth received praise for its faithful adaptation of the show style and engaging RPG elements. This game is mwah if you like those kind of jokes, you know. Of course, Hades is going to be in this list. Who doesn't love Hades, man? Hades is an action roguelike game by Supergiant Games, released in 2020. Players control Zagreus, the son of Hades, who tries to escape from the underworld. The game features fast-paced combat, power-ups from Greek gods, and a branching narrative that evolves with each playthrough. Praised for its replayability, story, characters, and art style, Hades earned critical acclaim and won numerous awards. 
Its engaging gameplay and dynamic storytelling make it a standout title in the roguelike genre. I've played so many roguelike games and this is the best for me. And now we have Hades 2 and it is still in early access but it is still not on sale because it is just released. So if you want to get that instead of Hades 1 then go get it because I've played Hades 2 and it is amazing. It is more than Hades 1 and it is better than Hades 1. I kid you not. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order It is an action-adventure game developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by EA in 2019. I know, EA, bad thing, okay? But this game, guys, this game is good. Players control Cal Kestis, a Jedi Padawan who survived Order 66 and is on the run from the Empire's Inquisitors. The game focuses on exploration, puzzle solving, and combat with challenging battles reminiscent of Dark Souls. Yeah, it's kind of like Dark Souls. It also includes Metroidvania style mechanics allowing players to revisit areas with new abilities and the story follows Cal's journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Featuring a mix of action and character driven narrative, Fallen Order was well received for its compelling story, engaging characters and enjoyable gameplay and of course the Star Wars fans are very very happy that this game exists. And the second game is of course also pretty good, but the performance of that game is poo poo until now and it is not cheap. So this game man, a triple A game that is only 4 bucks. Guys, please go get this game. This game is good, even if it is published by EA. Yeah! And of course my number one it is The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is an action role playing video game developed by CD Projekt Red who of course made Cyberpunk 2077. This is released back in 2015 and it is the third installment of The Witcher series. In the game players assume the role of Geralt of Rivia, a professional monster hunter known as a witcher who is seeking his adopted daughter, Ciri. While navigating a richly detailed open world filled with quests, monsters, and complex characters, the game is praised for its expansive open world, deep storytelling, and complex choices and memorable characters. It features dynamic weather, a day and night cycle, and a mix of main story quests and various side quests that provide players with rich gameplay experience. The Witcher 3 has won numerous awards and it is considered one of the greatest video games of all time and that is 100% correct. Additionally, the game has two major expansions, Heart of Stones and Blood and Wine, both of which add new content and further develop the world and the story and both of them are free. Amazing. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully my recommendation is spot on for this one. But if it is not, then it's okay. Not everyone has to like my games and not everyone has to like your games. Just enjoy what you have and have fun playing your games. Alright, thank you guys so much again and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye guys.